I'm Christina Howard outside of the SIU headquarters, essentially Ontario's police watchdog. Now, this whole system was supposed to be completely overhauled last month, but that changed when Ford came to power. The new government scrapped those plans, and now there are some new concerns after yesterday's throne speech gave the public a sense of the direction this government may be going. You can count on your government to respect the men and women of Ontario's police services by freeing them from onerous restrictions that treat those in uniform as subjects of suspicion and scorn. The onerous restrictions? I'm not entirely sure. I'm wondering if they think that these are burdensome laws that they also have to follow as well as enforce. I'm not sure where the restrictions are with that. Uh, and heavily scrutinized, um, I would think police officers who are paid to enforce the laws and serve and protect should be heavily scrutinized, yes. Joanne McIsaac's brother, Michael, was killed by police in Ajax. The family believes he suffered a seizure before running from his home naked. Police say he was armed with a table leg. They shot him, and the SIU did not lay charges against the officers involved. Do you realize that they even lost the supposed table leg that they say Michael had? They couldn't even tell us the trajectory of the bullets. They missed witnesses. I think, I think the establishment itself is weak. I don't know if it's because there is already a bias, in my opinion, with police, but I think certainly in Michael's case. It's a bias that Andre Demise, a community activist, believes will only be exacerbated by the government's divisive language. If you're elected to represent police officers, you should just say so. But if you're elected to represent the people, that means all the people of Ontario. That includes black and brown communities, too. The revamp of the SIU was part of a wider effort to increase police accountability and transparency. It was supposed to come into effect on June 30th and would have compelled officers to hand over their notes and provide statements to investigators or face up to $50,000 in fines and potential jail time. It also would have allowed police chiefs to suspend officers who are in custody without pay and mandate inquests whenever somebody dies due to a police officer's use of force. Now, that isn't happening. If you were a, a young black man in Scarborough, uh, you will uh, not be uh, uh, well treated uh, by this government from the looks of this particular throne speech. In a statement to City News, a spokesperson for the Attorney General writes, our government has pressed pause on implementing the Ontario Special Investigations Unit Act to take the time to conduct a full and thorough review of the legislation and consult with experts, police services and the public. As such, the SIU's mandate and responsibilities under the Police Services Act remain unchanged at this time. The new rules took years of consultations and research to establish and were the first major update to the Police Services Act since the Blue Jays last won the World Series. If you want to ensure public trust in policing, you have to assure the public that when the police officers break the law, they're going to be held to the same laws that we are. McIsaac is still challenging the SIU's findings in her brother's death.